Hey everyone, and welcome to Story of Seasons Trio of Towns. We've been waiting for this for quite a while, and it's finally here. So, we are gonna start playing. I'm gonna go with veteran mode, because I really don't need to do seedling mode. If it's anything like the other Story of Seasons, uh, seedling mode just kind of makes everything cheaper. That was really the only difference, but we're gonna be playing on veteran mode. All right, so I am going to customize my character here. I'm planning to do videos detailing more of the customization options for the male and female characters, so look for those later in the week. Okay, so this is what I am going with. Unfortunately, you can't change your hairstyle, so I'm kind of stuck with this one, which, if I remember correctly, you could change that in the very beginning of the original Story of Seasons, so I'm not really sure why they changed that. But yeah, you can only change your hair color, not the actual style. So hopefully at some point we'll be able to change that because I do not want this hairstyle. <laughs> Customize your personality. Depending on the personality you choose, what you are best at may change slightly. Choose whatever trait you like. Animal lover, fisher, sports enthusiast, tycoon, or charmer. So I'm guessing this will just like boost some stats maybe? Like, animal lover, maybe animals will like you faster, I'm assuming. Or fishing will be easier, whatever. Charmer is probably, uh, you'll be able to build relationships with people faster, maybe, I would think. I'm gonna go with Tycoon, which I'm assuming relates to, like, selling your goods and stuff. So, we'll do that. Memories. Kita dear over here, come to where mommy is. See, here we are, the petting farm. Let's go see all the animals, shall we? Sure. Why can't I have that hairstyle? That one looks a lot better. <laughs> go on, pet the nice cow. <laughs> no. You don't have to be scared. I'm sure we'll be very happy for a pat. We look very out of place on this farm. <laughs> there you are. See, it's saying thank you. Isn't that wonderful? Look, here we can pick some strawberries to eat. Don't they look delicious? Does the farmer know that we're doing this, or are we just, like, taking his crops? You just see him, like, chasing us off the field. Well, did you have fun at the petting farm? Oh, you want to live there now, do you? Well, that was fast. Oh, ho, ho! Guess you must really have enjoyed yourself. Well, then, we're just going to have to come back sometime, aren't we? I'll take you back there whenever you'd like. And from that moment on, I knew I wanted to be a farmer. Big sister. Oh no, the game crashed. What are you doing sleeping on the couch? That can't be good for your neck. What were you dreaming about anyway? You had a big silly grin on your face. Huh, well whatever. 
Mom says to come help get ready for dinner. I'll see you in the kitchen. Brat. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with my dad's face? What's going on, Dad? You only just got home and you're already calling a family meeting? Yes, about that. I know this is rather sudden, but we're going to be moving at the end of the month. Did you tell your wife? Because she seemed surprised. What? Again? Oh, I really like this town, too. I know, Lynn, but your father's job is in foreign trade and moving is part of that. Try not to be too harsh on him, hmm? So, darling, where are we moving to next? It's a town far across the ocean to the west. I've booked a boat to take us there in a few days. Oh my, is it really that far away? I regret having to put you all through this so often, but please try to understand that it's out of my hands. Yeah, he looks upset about it. Besides, I hear the place we're moving to is just as nice as here. I'm sure you'll all grow to love it. Oh really? Now I'm curious. What's wrong? You haven't said a single word this whole time. I'm a silent protagonist, what can I say? What, you want to move out on your own? Well, no wonder you were so quiet. You must have been giving that some serious thought. Moving out, hmm? Well, you are a grown adult now. Get out of my house. And coordinating that with the same time we make our move west is wise. However, am I right in assuming you've thought everything through? What will you be doing to support yourself? I'm gonna be a farmer. You're going to become a farmer? What, really? Why? That's some seriously hard work. I always knew you had weird tastes. What a charming child. You always did have a fondness for plants and animals ever since you were a child. I'm not at all surprised that you'd want to be a farmer. No, out of the question. Don't misunderstand me. Farming is a noble profession. I have nothing but the highest respect for farmers. However, it's not so simple or easy a job that anyone could take it up on a whim and hope to succeed. What do you know of animal husbandry? <laughs> Crop tending. Have you any idea how to manage a business? If you're naive enough to believe you have any chance of supporting yourself with this, think again. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> Wow, no wonder I want to move out. No, you are in no way prepared to be a farmer. I will not allow it. Dad, don't you see how I'm dressed? I am perfectly prepared to be a farmer. I'm gonna go do it anyway, so... <laughs> are we actually gonna fight, or like, is he gonna just be like, well, it's okay. The argument went back and forth for hours, well into the wee hours of the night. Wow. Two weeks later. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess I won. Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? It will be a very long trip, you know. Be careful. You're really gonna go, huh? I guess I might come out and visit you sometime if I feel like it. No, you won't, because I'm not telling you my address. Understand this. I still don't believe you'll be able to support yourself as a farmer. Wow. Just like my real dad. All I'm doing is giving you the chance to learn that for yourself. Jeez. You come in here with your weird face and try to tell me what to do. Go see my little brother. He's an excellent farmer. Let him teach you. He'll tell you flat out if you have any promise of being a good farmer or not. Jeez. Have a safe trip. Once you've settled in, send us a letter. We'll be waiting. See ya. Good luck. I think I'm adopted. I mean, if you look at the way I look compared to the way they look, I'm pretty sure I'm adopted anyway. So it's fine. And so, Kida parted ways with her family to start a new life. First up, Uncle Frank's farm in a little village called West Town. West Town. <laughs> Who, who's with me? That's not Frank, is it? Here we are. This is Frank's place. I'll be taking my leave here. Bye. 
will I ever see him again? Who knows? Who's there? Wait, is that you? Yep. Oh good, that's a great voice for him. <laughs> I thought so! Good to have you, good to have you! I'm Frank! Hi. Just so's you know, it's customary around these here parts to give a hug when greeting folks. Wanna give it a try? Not really, I like my personal space. Ha! <laughs> See, she knows me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's rather surprising getting told that right out of the blue. He sounds a little bit older than he probably is. Yeah, it was one surprise after another for me when I first got to West Town too, but it's turned out to be pretty nice. Not if the other person has body odor. Just consider this a practice round, if you'd like. No. Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, there you go! That was a good one! I'm sure it'll all seem confusing at first, but you'll do just fine. Once you've met enough folks and get a chance to say hi, you'll get used to it. I really don't think so. Still, they weren't lying when they said time flies. Look how big you've gotten. Excuse me, I'm a little bit off my paleo diet, okay? Last I saw you, you were still just a little baby. I bet you don't even remember me. You have a strange hat. I would remember that. Paul sent me a letter explaining everything. First things first, though. You gotta be bushed after that long trip. Come on in and settle down for a spell. Right then, let's not forget why you're here. You want to become a farmer, yeah? Yep. Well, I was real happy to hear that you want to do the same thing with your life that I do. But don't you forget, it's Ma Nature herself you'll be tackling. Some days it can get real rough. You really sure this is what you want to do? Well, I bought the game now. There's no going back. A good answer. No wonder you were able to get that stubborn old bear, Daryl, to back down. Now, I know I said some stuff that might have scared you, but around these parts, the harder you work, the more my own nature will respect you. That I can guarantee. Is your stomach rumbling? Oh, sorry about that. Guess my stomach's reminding me it's getting on supper time. Let's go make some food. Know what? I'll cook you up something right scrumptious in celebration of your new life. You just wait right there. Ooh. This is some pizza I made using veggies grown from yours truly. Dig in. Oh good, I thought he was gonna serve me like pig parts or something. Well, good, ain't it? Whenever you want to recover your stamina, hunker down and have a bite to eat. Sure, you can always get a little stamina back by eating the berries and veggies you can forage up in the wild. But when you really want to recover your stamina, a home-cooked meal's where it's at. Either way, just make sure you don't run out of stamina altogether. If you do, you'll collapse and nobody wants that. Now then, time to hit the hay. You can use that bed right over there. Alright, don't don't be forgetting to write in your journal before you go to sleep. Alright. Now, I'd love to take you down to your farm first thing tomorrow, but it's still being worked on. Instead, I'll be giving you the Grand Tour of West Town. How's that sound? At any rate, it's time for bed. Morning, you sleep well? That's a tiny bed. Today I reckon I'll give you a tour of the town, but first we better go say howdy to Megan. She's a town elder after all. Megan. It doesn't sound like an old lady name. I don't trust old people in Harvest Moon games anymore. I just assume they're going to die. Megan's house is a building down and to the right of here. The, the purple one? All right. Oh, it looks like the lupins are in bloom. Have a look. 
Find lots of wild loop and aloe and plum grass around this area. Wildflowers can make good presents for people. You can even use some of them in cooking. Their glitter in is one they're ready to harvest. Okay. Here comes the tutorial. I hope it doesn't last as long as the original Story of Seasons tutorial. Because that was quite a long time. Good morning to you, Megan! She doesn't look that old. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Hello, Frank. I've been waiting for you. Is this the relative you were telling me about? Yes, ma'am. This here's Kita. Hey. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Megan. I'm the town elder here in West Town. I'm also a farmer just like Frank. Oh no. I think I can speak for the whole town when I say we're very happy to have you here. Uh, hugging old people. <laughs> my, my, what's wrong? Did a little shy about giving hugs, it looks like. It's not the custom where she comes from. Oh, is that what it is? I see. Don't worry about it too much. You'll get used to it before long. I doubt that. Well then, let's be off on the grand tour. As you can see, the whole town is situated on a mountainside. It's always been a very good place for raising livestock. The red soil, hills, and tall cliffs are some of the unique characteristics of the area. Land here is perfect for farms that use a lot of water and grow green veggies. You can harvest a lot of fodder here, too. That road down over there leads to the farm where you'll be living before long. And the road up beyond the bridge leads to the center of town. Alright. Here we are, the heart of West Town. Hmm. Looks familiar. Looks like the trading depot. I wonder if they're gonna be there like all the time. Or if they just show up on certain days. Well, what do you think? Isn't it an impressive town? Long, long ago it was a mining town. A prosperous one at that too. Now then, how about we stretch our legs a little? This way, come along. Here you can find the grocer, the material store, the general store, and the animal shop. I'm sorry to say the material store is closed for renovations. Shouldn't be too long before it's open for business again, though. Just have a little patience until then. All of these stores are open from 10 to 6 every day, so keep that in mind. Oh, okay. That's useful. Now if I can direct your attention to the left. Over here we have the post office. Post office? Oh. Okay. So they're not open. I'm not going to send letters to my family. They were mean to me. Who's this charming chap? Well, now speak of the devil, here comes our postman. Hello. <laughs> what if I just gave him a John Wayne voice? I don't think I can do a good John Wayne impression. Morning, Megan. Frank. What a surprise to see the both of you here. What's the occasion? No way, let me guess. You're giving the grand tour to our new neighbor here, right? <laughs> yep, spot on as always. This is the relative I was telling you about. Aha, I knew it. The name was, give me a second, it'll come to me. Kita, right? Yeah. I'm Wayne, West Town's postman. Frank said he had a relative coming. I never expected someone this much of a looker. Well, you're forward. Always happy to have new residents around these parts. Someone as cute as you is especially welcome. 
Uh, here you come from a place real far away. You used to hugging people when you say howdy yet? Wink. Man, he like wants my butt. And he's obviously a marriage candidate because he's got the flower. Where are your hands? Looking forward to getting to know you better. Feel free to come on over and chat whenever you want. Okay. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I've got some deliveries to make. See you around. Okay. Bye. With those introductions done, let's continue on with the tour. Alright, are you going to show me any other hunky men? Here we have three of the most popular stores in town. Green building is the restaurant. The pink one is the florist and the yellow one is the general store. You can find crop seeds at both the florist and the general store. So I reckon you'll be coming this way more often than not. I'm really glad that the traders aren't going to, like, be random <laughs> on what days they're here. Because uh, that'll, that'll be really nice. Oh. Good morning, Lisette, and good morning to you, Miranda. Can you let me introduce you to Lisette, our florist, and Miranda, the owner of the general store? Lisette, Miranda, this here is key to my relative that I was telling y'all about. It's lovely to meet you. My name is Lisette. I take care of the town flower shop. Blah, 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 blah. So you're Frank's niece. He's told us so much about you. I can't tell you how happy I am to have someone else my age around here. I'd love it if you'd come on by and say howdy sometime. It's real nice to meet you, Kita. I'm Miranda. I run the general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop's the place to be. Sorry to cut things short, but I have some cleaning I have to do. I'll talk to you later. And my daughter's waiting on her mall for lunch. See you around, Kita. Alright, bye. Moving along, let's have a look over this way. Over there's the clinic. If you're ever feeling tired or out of sorts, stop by and see the doctor here. You just so as you know the doc is even sterner man than I. He's off at the fancy doctor seminar right now, so I'm afraid we can't introduce you to him just yet. He's supposed to be back later this week, though. You can go introduce yourself to him then. Another bachelor. And there you have it. That's our little west town. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Well, that's all for today. Now, if you don't mind, I gotta go find my dentures. Bye. Alright, bye. Oh, no need to thank me. I enjoyed showing you around. You take care now. Since we're here, why don't you have a look? See around town for yourself. You can say howdy to the other folks around, too. Alright, yeah, thank you for teaching me how to go into, uh, a building. I've got it, though. Thanks. Alright, bye. Yep, I can- I got a map, I'm good. Okay, bye. Okay! Sweet. It's a nice little town. So, this- uh, that's a grocery store, right? That person's not here yet. That's a general store. And the animal shop, okay. So like everything you need is right there. I love how the thing in the corner is just saying exploring. Like that needs to be stated. Oh. Horatio, okay. It's a wagon there. Does this sign actually say anything? No. Okay. What's... Oh, is that... Is that like a mining thing? Kind of looks like... Kind of looks like it. I'm running over your plants. So we can't go in there yet. 
because the doctor isn't here. It looks like another mining spot. That would make sense because she said that this used to be a mining town. So it would kind of make sense that there would be uh, spots for you to go mining here. Because I'm pretty sure they're all different in what you can do in them and like shops and stuff. All right, so this is the restaurant. Oh, and they have a stage for live music. Brad? How did let me guess? You're Frank's relative? I can see a little him and you. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good thing or not. Brad, I run the town restaurant with my wife Carrie and my grandpa. Oh, you're off the menu then? Shame. Come on by whenever you're feeling hungry here. It's good to meet you. Thanks. So this must be his wife Carrie. Oh, she's cute. How do you wouldn't happen to be Frank's relative? Kita wasn't in. I heard you'd be moving in. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet you. I'm Carrie, and I'm in charge of customer service at the Garden Grill. I didn't expect Frank's relative to be someone so cute and stylish. Feel free to drop by whenever you're feeling hungry. Okay. So I guess they just... Oh, there's Grandpa. He's asleep. Probably shouldn't be asleep at the stove. <sighs> it's probably not good. Grandpa, wake up. And this is the florist. Okay. So that's... This is where she is. And this is the general store. We can't buy anything, so there's, like, not much <laughs> point in talking to her. So I think that's pretty much it for, like, the, the main town. There's probably some stuff, like, around, but... I don't think we're really supposed to go very far. Yeah, I'm ready to go back. Hello. Are you going to teach me how to harvest a turnip? You've got to be plum tuckered out by now. Let's make a supper and call it a day. Okay. Well then. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll, uh, just go to bed then. Uh, but I think we'll have our farm tomorrow, which is gonna be nice, because it took us a while to get our farm in the original Story of Seasons. So, yeah, okay, I will write in my journal, alright. Uh, well, I think that's actually gonna do it for this first episode. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're thinking of this game so far, and if you are playing along with me, what you think of it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up to your support. Really helps me out. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I also did a complete series on the original Story of Seasons that's quite long if you want to check that out. I also have series on Stardew Valley, Return to Popolo Croix, and Animal Crossing New Leaf, which are all sort of in the same vein. So if you like this, you'll probably like them too. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.